5.30, the decision is in. A Broward judge rules on a murder trial where the defendant wanted to keep jurors from seeing potentially damning evidence against him. Fidel Lopez is charged in the gruesome murder of his girlfriend. His attorney specifically wanted his statement to, to police to be kept out of the trial. CBS 4's Carrie Codd live in Fort Lauderdale with the judge's decision. Carrie. Yeah, Rick and Rudabay, suspected killer Fidel Lopez, expected to go, is expected to go on trial on Monday here at the courthouse in Fort Lauderdale. His attorneys wanted the judge to throw out his statement to police that he gave after the murder, where he discussed what happened inside the apartment he shared with his girlfriend. This was critical to the defense case, but the judge ruled against them. Fidel Lopez is accused of a sadistic crime, disemboweling his girlfriend, Maria Nemeth, after she called out another man's name during sex. Says you have the right to remain silent. After the murder, Sunrise police arrested Lopez, interrogated him, and read him his rights. Lopez's defense attorneys argued that Lopez's comments from this interview should be tossed out of court because English is not Lopez's first language, and he did not fully understand what police were asking him. Uh, I I what I mainly want to do is clarify the the happenings. I, I didn't know a lot of the words that he was speaking. The prosecutor said Lopez clearly understands English because he spoke English on the 911 call, at the crime scene, and on the interrogation video when he admitted that Nemeth called out another man's name after a night of tequila drinking and rough sex. She changed my name. She called me the, the other f name of the other guy. And then she said it twice. And she was wrong. And she was confusing me with him. At that point, I get mad. Get really, really mad. Defense attorneys also questioned whether police properly read Lopez his rights and why they didn't read them to him in Spanish. But Judge Alana Holmes ruled from the bench that Sunrise police acted appropriately. Nothing that I saw on this tape shows me that the defendant did not freely and voluntarily waive his right to have an attorney present or to even speak. The judge's ruling means that jurors will hear Lopez's words to detectives in the hours after Nemeth's murder. And Lopez said his mind went blank and he lost control. I wasn't thinking, man. I wasn't thinking. Lopez is being held in jail on charges of murder and sexual battery. Prosecutors intend to seek the death penalty against him. However, there are reports that the judge in the case has told prosecutors they cannot do that because Florida's uh, death penalty was ruled unconstitutional last year. I asked prosecutors about that. They just sent me an email minutes ago saying they are reviewing their options. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Kerry Cott, CBS 4 News.